Welcome into the Main Event Broadcasting Network. I'm Danielle Jenkins, Assistant Director of Athletic Communications, and today we'll be joined by newly hired head volleyball coach Jamie McCormack to get to know the newest member of the Piedmont Athletic staff. Well, Coach McCormack, it's great to have you with us. We're certainly very excited about having you on staff with us here at Piedmont now. Thank you. Well, for the fans who are out there looking to get to know you a little better, we'll get into your playing and coaching career in just a moment. Very uh, successful player and coach at volleyball. but. You're moving into this position from the corporate world as you were yeah. with Career Builder for the past couple of years. Um, tell us about the transition for you from going from that corporate position to taking that step back and getting back to your roots with volleyball. Uh, well, I've always, I mean, obviously volleyball is such a passion of mine. I played from the time I was eight years old all the way through college, so a long time in volleyball. Um, and stepped into the corporate world when we moved here to Atlanta, and that's just kind of how things fell into place. Um, and it's been a, a great experience. You learn a lot in the corporate world, but I'm really excited to get back to something I'm truly passionate about. This is, it's really a cool bonus to get paid to do something you love. So <laughs> Absolutely. I'm excited. There's nothing better. Well, with Career Builder, you were in a management position, certainly yeah. a high stress position, yeah. but not yeah. dissimilar from collegiate athletics, from trying to balance practices and games and recruiting. It can certainly be a stressful atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. What tips are you going to take away from that time in a corporate position to come in here and try and um, implement into your coaching as well? Yeah, it was definitely, um, there were high stress situations. <laughs> um, I think what'll be great about this, even though it is still, you're gonna see high stress situations, um, there was a lot financially on the line in a corporate world. You know, everything is dollars and cents in that world. So these fires are gonna be a little less financially driven. <laughs> That'll be a great change. Um, but it's a lot more motivating to handle stressful situations when it's people on the line. Like these are people and they're your team and you're their leader in, in a sense and you care about the outcome and you care about how things progress from here. So even though there will be stress, it'll be far more rewarding. Absolutely. Now, uh, going back to your own playing days, you mentioned in the game since you were eight years old is certainly <laughs> um, a passion that's developed for you throughout playing club volleyball, high school, all the way to college. Um, but you're, in your club days especially, you played under some of the game's greatest and brightest minds. Um, yeah. Olympic silver medalist Rose Majors Powell, as well as Ted Kompak, a former uh, U.S. national team member. So what was that experience like for you? And do you see some aspects of their coaching styles that you grew up around that you may have implemented into your own game plan? They were easily two of the most influential coaches I've ever had. Um, Rose especially. I mean, she's an Olympian. so. That's probably not a surprise. <laughs> um, Rose was someone who she had your attention all the time. She didn't, I saw her yell once and I'll never do it again. <laughs> um, she, when she said anything, she had the floor, she had your attention. She didn't get dramatic. She didn't get crazy. She didn't yell at you. She didn't scream at you, but you respected what she said because you knew who she was. And it was just so obvious that she knew what she was talking about. Um, that's something I will absolutely carry forward. It's, I think it's such a talent to command a room without scaring the daylights out of everybody in it. <laughs> now, in college, you earned a full athletic scholarship to the University of Arkansas at Fort Smith. We're there for one season, helped the team to a 38-4 and record. Very impressive. That included a 31-match win streak. Yeah, Personally, what year. is that like? It was a good year. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also uh, then had the opportunity to transition to Division Three, which mm -hmm. is great experience coming in here at Piedmont College. You were at Huntington College, a team that you'll you'll be seeing. Yes, um, going I know back them and, well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, but you had the opportunity there to be a starting middle hitter for them for three seasons. Uh, first team, all conference, each of those years, very impressive numbers. Finished second in the GSAC in kills, kills per set, and hitting percentage your senior year. Uh, a very illustrious career that you're carrying for. <laughs> What are the memories that, that stick with you the most from that time? And what does that Division Three experience mean for you? And how does that help you carrying into this position? Um, I, the D3 experience was incredible. I, I loved every minute of it. I did go um, to Arkansas Fort Smith for a season. But Division Three, when I visited Huntington, that was one of the first places I went. And I just loved it. And I knew from that point forward, I should entertain Division Three. Um, I ultimately 
tried someplace else first, but <laughs> it didn't take me long to realize that the Huntingdon was, was the answer. Um, and I just remember every game, every set I got, I just didn't have the mindset to not go 100%. I just didn't. Every set, I wanted to put it in the ground. And I remember, like, in practice and when I would go with teammates to just play around for fun, they were going, Jamie, stop hitting so hard. <laughs> and I just I didn't want to. I didn't. No it, let it, up. No, I, <laughs> I just, it was 100 miles an hour all the time. So I hope I can translate that to the girls now because I, uh, there's a time and a place to not hammer the ball, but when the opportunity is there, do it. Absolutely do it. That's, I love it. Now, you got into the coaching side of things. You've done some camps and some clinics mm -hmm. as well as club. But then you had the opportunity for your first assistant position at UMS Wright in Mobile, Alabama. I Very did. interesting position because you're actually working alongside your mom. Now yeah. you got to play <laughs> under your mom in yes. high school at Bob Jones, then work beside her. What was that like, seeing both sides of the equation, playing under her and then getting <laughs> to work beside her? Uh, playing under her was definitely um, – it, it was interesting. I knew where I stood. I'll put it that way. <laughs> there was no guesswork um, where I stood or how she felt about anything I did. Uh, we agreed that when we went home at night, coach was gone and mom was here. And we would go home like we didn't know each other in practice. And, you know, she would say how it was practice. And I'd say, my coach was a beast today. You know, <laughs> So we treated it like two separate worlds. But then going back to coach with her, um, She'll laugh because I accuse her of being soft these days. Like, you were so much harder on me. <laughs> uh, but I guess, you know, when it's someone else's daughter, you have to, <laughs> you have to treat them a little differently. But it was, it, I think it added a lot to my perspective to be able to see things through her eyes and think about things that I wasn't thinking about when I was giving her a little extra attitude <laughs> during the playing days. Well, then you had the chance to go back to Huntington to work as a coach as well during that 2012 season, but actually got the chance to do two recruiting classes while you were there and get a really good handle on the recruiting aspect of it, something that's invaluable stepping into this position. What was it about getting back to that D3 experience that was something that intrigued you then and still continues to get with you right now as you take this position at Piedmont? Uh, the biggest thing that I liked to point out recruiting at Huntington and even recruiting now is Volleyball is a great part of your college experience. It's not the experience. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. If you choose to go somewhere where volleyball's it, like that's what you're here for, or you have that option, but Division Three is part of your experience. Volleyball's part of your experience. You're here for a degree. Um, you have to focus on academics. And I also like to point out to girls that, you know, you've been playing a high school season in a club season and I remember the days where if you went all the way through your state finals you were finishing end of October and then you were trying out for club early November and Never all of ended. a sudden yeah your year was gone so I do tell girls that I'm recruiting like you're going to get here and our season's going to end early November and then spring season usually starts somewhere in March and you're going to find yourself with all this spare time and it's going to be so new and different and for me I I was really excited to have some of my life back and you still get to play volleyball obviously we're here because we love volleyball but you get part of your life back that you didn't have up until now so I think that appeals to to certain certain girls for sure absolutely well coach McCormack we are certainly excited to have you here on staff and we are excited for the future of Piedmont volleyball thank you once again thanks for joining us on the main event broadcasting network as we got to know newly hired head volleyball coach Jamie McCormack we'll see you next time